very close to Jeff Row. Greetings from uh, Florida, the Sunshine State. Not so much today because I felt the big tropical storm Elsa. She'll be here all day. So this is kind of what our lot is for the day. So what I'm doing today is carburetor on my generator decided to spring a leak right when the tropical storm is coming. So it is a new needle valve and a float bowl gasket set. And uh, that's what I got out here. So next I got a couple of things inside and they're moving there where it's a little bit nicer than this. And uh, we'll see what I got in there. All right, well back inside where it's a little nicer. And a little easier to hear now that the wind isn't whipping around out there but uh, what I got here is a quick update on my uh, Dylan over at New York State modeling uh, I was doing a group build for Pro Street and it also includes gassers so I decided to join in with that one and do a gasser 57 Ford hard top um, that is not a gasser model so I had to kind of do some work on the front suspension and everything but basically this is just kind of mocked up a little bit I'm checking my wheel openings and all of that or the because the front the front suspension is a little farther forward so I'm going to do a little trimming there but um, this thing's going to fall apart when I pick it up the wheels and tires are just kind of sitting there just for the time being but um, basically I just got the engines also just kind of laying in there too but uh, Got the hood opening cut out, got the rear wheel wells cut out and everything, and um, front suspension. I just had to grab some springs out of the out of the junkyard parts box. Uh, got some springs and an axle out of there, and uh, I removed all of the stock suspension out of the frame, and uh, got the front axle I drilled the front axle out just because I always thought that was cool to have that done so got that done um, but this car is a, a three-in-one kit stock drag and custom and um, I always liked when I was a younger fella there back in the early 70s all the models you got was three-in-one we used to always take and do some of the custom touches with the race engine and just do it all up so I did the front roll pan the custom front end and and rear roll pan I got that on there and uh, that's really about all I've got done I got the engine pretty much built and painted I still got a little uh, little detail work to do on that some wiring and some other quick paint work but it's just laying in there just to, again make sure that that clears the other thing I got speaking of chopping and cutting I got a couple of shop cards um, first of all I got Gary over at uh, Car Dreams and Styrene. Um, got a lot of crazy builds, um, but he's a he does a lot of really good work, a lot of neat stuff, um, crazy ideas. But he does he does some wild builds, and uh, he, he's a very entertaining, a lot of fun on his uh, on his videos, and he really enjoys what he's doing, and it shows. So if you're not subscribed to Gary, go check him out. It's a lot of fun. Next one is Doc over at Doc's Custom Corner. Another one that uh, has a lot of crazy ideas and, and builds a lot of crazy builds. But uh, again, he enjoys what he's doing, has a lot of fun with it. And uh, really cool channel. He's fairly new to the community, but um, he's got a lot of neat builds, a lot of stuff that he's putting up. So if you're not subbed to him, go check him out. And uh, that about does it for here. Uh, we're just riding the storm out here. And I uh, guess that's it from here. This is Jethro. Over and out. Thanks for watching.